Yo guys, what is up? It is Wand12345 here and I'm back with another YouTube video and this is episode 1 of The Rise of Damien Weeze. This is the 2K23 My Career series, running alongside the Catherine careers of Sarah Kate and Jack Richards. So sit back, relax and if you like this video then make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you stay up to date and you never miss any content from me. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Enjoy, guys. Everyone's rise through WWE is different, but it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts and chants your name. Guys, it's Bailey! Expectations placed upon you before you even step foot in the ring. For others, it means trying to make the best first impression to those who have no idea who you are. Some will find a clear path to the top. While others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish, who you eventually align with, or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, the choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE Universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. <laughs> Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next is up to you. He's the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship? has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of the lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently the lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard the lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, but if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. There's been a lot of talk about how The Lock's going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. 
Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. Look at that turnbuckle. The champs reign on shape for the win to retain the championship! And the count doesn't even begin. We're well in. Sammy isn't gonna like what's about to come his way. night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Well, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sami for a ride. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Cat, right? Yep. Cat with a K. K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. Whoop whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah. But that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. 
Just trust the process and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the luck. We good here or? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for ten years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champ, multi-time Tag Champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. And that, guys, is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification to never miss a single video from me. We'll be back next week for another episode of The Rise of Demi Weed. See you later guys. I am out. Peace. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep. But now wish to sleep.